Just north of Uptown Charlotte sits a 76 acre industrial site, a collection of doers and creators whose crafts range from visual art, to food, to motorcycles, to coffee, and beyond. So Charlotte's known for being a banking city, but Camp North End is this amazing magical anomaly. It used to be a Ford factory, which was then turned into a missile plant, turned into a distribution center, and now today it is an innovative space for artists and chefs and more. So we're gonna come through and see what all they have to offer here across 1.3 million square feet. Camp North End is like its own little city, a breath of fresh air filled with unapologetic black art, historic relics untouched by developers, and an inclusive collection of businesses. Perhaps the coolest thing about this place is that the original Model T factory remains standing as is. So we are currently sitting in the Ford factory at Camp North End. Uh, this building was built in 1924 by Henry Ford, designed by famous architect Albert Kahn. It's 800 feet long, 300 feet wide, 240,000 square feet. It's basically like a block of New York City, but all in one room. Here in 1924, they manufactured Model Ts and Model As, about 300,000 cars in the 30s. And when the Great Depression hit, of course, that affected car sales. So they shut down the Model T production and they just kept the office in the front, in the showroom. In 1941, the US Army actually bought this building from the Ford Motor Company and used it to start ramping up for World War II. While the US Army was here, they built another million square feet of warehouses surrounding this one at the center of the site and used it as a quartermaster depot, distributing supplies to basic training camps across the Southeast. Fast forward to the Cold War, they were still here building missiles. They actually called this place Camp, Charlotte Army Missile Plant. Uh, so that's a nod to the history right there in our name, Camp North End. After Model Ts and missiles, Rite Aid slash Eckerd was here for the better part of 40 years. And then in 2016, ATCO, the company I work for, uh, purchased the site and set out to redevelop it. This building is a significant piece of American history and you know, certainly Charlotte history. Basically for the better part of 100 years, it's been closed off and somewhat secret about what's going on in here You know, with the Army. Now we're working to give it new life and open it back up, take down the fence and um, transform this site, which has served as a barrier between eight neighborhoods and reimagine it as a central gathering place. It's a space that's popping, okay? It's an incubator. Um, it's a space for dreamers and doers. It's colorful. It's a place that you want to be. It's inspiring to be here. We love, you know, anything that has to do with a place that is inviting for community, for there to be um, inclusion or just uh, just seeing, you know, the diversity with even the shops or the people that are here. Um, that's very important for us as, as a business. You know, we're, we're immigrants and we enjoy, you know, spaces where you feel that there's a big sense of community. So that's, that's really the main reason we, we came here. It is the coolest spot in Charlotte. And we have needed something hip and something that brings young people and old people and people of every age, every ethnic background, every race. It, it is that community that I think is creating community. So Charlotte is definitely known for lots of shiny new construction. Um, finding old buildings in Charlotte is somewhat of a rarity and reusing them even rarer. What we're doing here is pretty special for our city, but also unique in the context of our country. Uh, this is one of the largest adaptive reuse projects underway in the U.S. as we speak. The site actually has three districts because it's so large. Across 76 acres, we have defined areas. The boiler yard being the, the main one where we started, and now we've expanded to the Mount and Keswick. So here in the boiler yard is where we really started to activate Camp North End. The raceway building here naturally lent itself to hosting a dozen small businesses. So we renovated this building first. Now it has Hex Coffee, art collectives like Duff and & Swat and Black Market, Prism Supply Company, and a bunch of others. 
These are like the original tenants of Camp North End who helped us get this place started, set the tone for a creative atmosphere. They really have embraced the vision of a place where people from all across Charlotte, all different industries, can be in close proximity and form a community and collaborate. We are Dup and Swat. We are Dup and Swat. What is Dup and Swat? I was gonna say, honey, it's a whole vibe, okay? Yeah. It's a whole vibe, like the energy, it just, it just feels good in there, you know? Double Swat is an event space. You can also see the art that lines the wall that comes from people that are local to Charlotte. We also have apparel from people that are local to Charlotte. It's just a space where we can art and create and provide platform to others who need it, um, to others who deserve it, to others who need that yes. I asked Davida if I could do an art show in her spot, and her response would be like, yeah, I don't care, let's go. Shout out to our, our fairy godparents slash neighbors slash, you know, brothers in this underground art thing that we got going on. We are like a second generation of this non-institutional art movement. Yeah. So I see a lot of people bringing in people from outside the city. They're like, oh, I like the way this person shoots. I'm like, we got 30 people right here alone that can do better than that. Creative spaces abound at Camp North End, where you'll also find Huga co-working, that's novel books, good postage, Wendy O'Connor Art and Home, and so much more. I think because you get to park your car in one spot and spend a few hours outside bouncing around to all different types of businesses, be it art galleries or stationery companies or used books or food, it just has this diverse community of businesses that make it a fun place to visit and it gives you a little taste of what Charlotte's all about. You can explore Camp North End and all it has to offer at 1824 Statesville Avenue in Charlotte. Shops, galleries, food stalls, and other businesses within have different hours, so be sure to visit Camp North End's website at camp.nc to learn more.